Hello. This is my Alice mold. We're going to color this today. First, I have some resin here and I'm going to put in this small cup. You don't really need a lot when you do coloring. And yes, we're doing resin coloring, so it's just resin with uh, mixed with color. So I need a lot of white, so I'm just going to use this uh, paint from Amazon that I bought and the best white that I use. You only need to get the one ounce bottle. I got the four ounce and I don't know if I will ever finish it. All right, so see, so just need a little bit to give you this very creamy white. You want to mix it thoroughly so there's no streaks. Okay, now we have this milky white. We are going to use dotting tools. Dotting tools has, I used to use um, toothpicks, but toothpicks will scratch the mold. So you will have scratch lines, but uh, dotting tools won't. So use the smaller side. There are many different sizes. This is just from Amazon. It comes with a huge pack. And what you do is you put it really next to the mold and you drop it, pick it up and drop it. So I'm doing the bunny. The bunny is all white. To the fun part about doing this is you don't have to actually follow the regulation of what the color is should be so you can do it however you can create your own alice or your own bunny color and this is very fun like it gives a it like um, you know secret garden stuff like that helps you to calm yourself. <laughs> this, yes, this is my coloring book. The kind of uh, game. Okay, this is my white bunny right there, and you're done with the bunny. And now we're gonna mix more color for Alice. She has like yellow hair or gold hair blonde hair so I'm gonna do is pull out some you don't even need that much but take out a cup and put some white in it and mix with yellow so I'm using epoxy resin yellow coloring and three drops oh, I did four you can do it slowly less is more and you can just use the dotting tool you can just get it or you can use a Toothpick. I'm just going to use a dotting tool because I'm going to use a dotting tool to color anyway. And make sure you have a wet wipe next to you. Every time you change color, you want to um, clean out the tool so it doesn't get mixed. So the color is yellow with white. So this mold has raised lines. I don't know if you can tell. It's a little dirty here, right here. But um, the lines are raised, so you can color it. It won't mix with each other. And resin coloring is very forgiving. If you make a mistake, simply just lift it up and you'll be fine. I know Alice has a 
the original Alice has blonde hair. You can make your Alice pink hair. You can make your Alice, you know, blue hair. Whichever that you want your Alice to be. Or you can even do half and half color. They don't have to be the same hair. So one side pink hair, one side blue hair, or one side white hair, one side black hair. However, which way you prefer. I think that's it. Let me see. I always like to turn around the mold. I forgot the original <laughs> picture. I haven't made this for a while. So this is the arm. This is the sleeve. Yeah, I think I think that's it. We can always uh, come back and add more. So I'm going to clean out the tool. And oh yes, I think her her sleeve is white too. Her sleeve is white and her dress is blue. So I'm going to add a sleeve with white. This is her sleeve. Put it closer so it doesn't drop on the table <laughs> or places that you want you don't want it to be dropped. This is her sleeve. Uh, um, what's it called? Collar. And then this is the other sleeve. Or that's the hair. Hold on. Let me see. That's the hair. Ah, okay. It's okay. See, I made a mistake, so it's good to show you how I lift it up. So I'm going to use a little tool. It looks dirty, but it's clean. Um, just lift it up like this and clean it on this wet towel. And then lift it up like that, like a scoop. You can use a dotting tool too, but the dotting tool tip is a little small. This is faster. Okay, now that's the yellow, so it's the hair. Okay. This part is the hair and the one below is the sleeve. So I clean out. The yellow using the same tool and I'm gonna go back in with the white to finish the sleeve. Perfect. And I think over here is also white. That's where the, the dress is. Now, I need to mix some blue. And when you use blue, you also need a white. That's why I made a bigger cup of white. Also, later the skin color, you need white as, as well. So it's a, your foundation color. And I'm going to mix blue. Also, the epoxy resin color you just do two drops because it's only a little bit and I'm going to use the same dotting tool to mix I cleaned it right after I finished with the last color or maybe two drops is a little too much because I want baby blue mm. 
if this blue is too dark, you can add, I'm going to add some white to make it lighter because I want it baby blue. There you go, that's the color I want. Oh, beautiful color, but I still want to clean out the wand before I start coloring because I was mixing it. Don't want to get it attached to the, you know, other colors. So let's do the, the apron. I think that's what it's called. So I'm using the wet towel, so there's always some fiber. Make sure you clean out the fiber because you don't want that to ruin your masterpiece. <laughs> okay. That is the blue part. Guided through with the, and also the the ribbon. Awesome. And let me see. Is there there is a little tiny space where the blue dress is at, and I think that's it. That's all you need, so you don't need a lot of resin to do this. Now I need another cup for the skin color. The skin color, I how I mix it is I mix a white with a little bit of orange, like a little bit. I'm going to do it on the other side so it doesn't get mixed too much. And what I do is I pick up the orange and mix into the white. So you only need that much and it gives a lot of orangeness. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I don't want her to look like, you know, a carrot. So I'm going to use another cup. and pour the more white into this cup, just a little bit for the skin. And use this orange that I mixed earlier, maybe two drops or three. That's all you need. Cause you just want a little tint. Okay, maybe one more. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not white. You can always slowly adjust it. If you're making darker skin tone, you can add other colors, but it just, the less is more. So you don't want to do too much at the one time. This one time that I made uh, my Nezuko, like orange skin, because <laughs> I added too much orange. You can add some pink. Too, if you want to like uh, do like a flush color so okay I think this is a good color and you just drop it on the face part oh yes her eyes is blue too I'm going to make her eyes blue the ear face neck the hand The 
arm. And the arm right here. Like I said, it's okay to make a mistake on this because it's you coloring, so whichever way you want this to finish to look like, it works. Perfect. And I'm just gonna make her cheeks orange. And I like this, I'm just gonna make this orange. And it goes right here it's not mixed all the way I have to do a little mixing over there that's why you want to make sure that uh, the colors are mixed thoroughly this is the orange cheeks I mean, orange chick is a trend, right? Okay, is that her finger? That could have been her finger. Let me see. Take this part out. Like I said, you can always change up your mind and remove it. And add the color in again. There you go. I'm going to, supposedly you can make pink color too, but I'm just going to make this orange, the bunny's ear. Okay. Super cute. We're missing the eyes. I'm going to make the eyes blue. on the bottom and maybe a darker blue on the top to show a little difference or the, or the opposite I don't know but I already did this so it should be a darker blue so I'm going to add one more drop of blue into the paint or a darker blue color and just one drop is good and mix this. And dot it in the color. Perfect. Yay, all done. Now we just have to wait for it to dry. I feel like this part is also hair. I'm going to take that part out. It's easier to see the whole picture once you get the color blocks in. So I'm gonna remove that little section with the skin color and Add the hair in. I don't know, that's how I feel it. To me. <laughs> what do you think? And tomorrow we'll come back and do the top coat. And yeah, we'll come back tomorrow to 
seal the clear part. If there's some air bubble, you can just pop it. That. It's normal to have air bubble. Just pop it out. Make sure you clean out the tool every time you change a color. You don't want to blend the color. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys. So we're back on the second day. This is uh, cured. And now we just do a clear coat. So I already mixed some resin. This is hard resin. Three versus one craft resin. And you just pour it slowly into the mold. I normally don't go all the way up because it, I don't like it when it's too thick. And use a bolt, uh, this the same tool, dotting tool, and just to work the edges. So we don't want any air bubble on the edges. There's one at the eye, you just so these are like braced lines, so it's easy to catch bubbles when you pour in. It's normal. All you have to do is just use a tool like this and gather them to the center like this and use a lighter. I use a lighter. Some people use uh, alcohol and heat gun I just use a lighter so let me gather it to the center everything in the center so we just use one time all right let me clean this tool okay so I have the lighter and that very quickly like that and we're all set let me just turn around and see if there's any air bubbles on the edge that i couldn't see like there's one right there and you can just go ahead and pop it you don't want to like use the lighter like doing it like straight for how too long just like flashing it all right so we'll see when it's cured and we can demote after two days because it's winter time resin cures slower it takes about two days to cure normally it takes only eight to twelve hours hi guys so this is two days later after we pour the clear coat and it's ready Look how pretty. And the bag has zero bubbles. And now let's make it into a keychain. Because I didn't fill all the way up to the top. So there is a little like edge. If you don't mind to be very thick, you can fill it up, but I like it to be thinner. So I rather file the edges you know, to smooth it out. That's not hard at all. So I have this uh, new tool to draw the hole. So I usually do it on like right in the center, in the middle. And you can turn this off. <clears throat> Brush away the extra uh, resin, the dried ones, and you don't want the to stick there and now I'm gonna use an eye pin I normally use gold color I have silver as well but uh, if the customer did not request a silver color at hardware then I'll use oh, this is the UV resin I use and I used to <clears throat> glue the I pin inside to make it extra secure. See that little 
it and then you want to just bring it inside. And I would add a little extra at the top for the little extra secure. But you don't want to block the, the eye. And after this, you put it under a UV light. You can hold it or you can let it go. You can put it on the mold if your table is not clean. It's hard to keep your table clean. <laughs> Let it just uh, be under light for 90 seconds. Okay, so now it's good. <clears throat> I have some hardware that I want to add. So this is what I'm going to use. This is a uh, open jump ring or jump ring that's not open <laughs> actually. You just twist it like that. And Put this in. I want to add a little bell. So it's gonna put it on this side. Then put this in and close this. I have actually a toy here you can it's easier. And then put this key ring in so each customer can put this keychain on here. And this is a bag hook, so you can put it on the bag. And it's done. Do you like it? 